All right, one more, and I think this will kind of lead us into our next topic here. Uh, Ridley Truther says, on a retooling, productive struggler, and super flex, would you rather have, as of today, Justin Fields or Kenny Pickett? Might be able to get Kenny Pickett for a second or a third. Pick to get Pickett and a two. So he he's obviously has Justin Fields, and he's looking to move off of Justin Fields. Well, this is a good question for Matt. This is... This is just a good question in general because we got Kenny Pickett. Yeah. We haven't even seen yet. Yeah. We've seen Justin Fields. Yeah. I mean, he's just not, he just hasn't played well at all. Well, let's jump into this yeah, I bear think, side and then we'll hit that question on the back side of this. All right. We'll come back to you. Really. All right. So we got the Moon Man, five targets, 29, 29.4% target share, two catches, 23 yards. Just didn't look great out there at all. On your bench. On your bench. Four Sucks. Points. No, at this point. Huge Mooney guy. At, can't play any bears. At, exactly. There's no bears. No bears. No bears. Uh, Equinemius St. Brown, two bears targets. receivers anyway. Two targets, one catch, 20 yards. Did have a, did have a nice um, uh, nice little run there. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you can't count on that weekly. 92% so. route participation. Equinemius, he's, he's like a starting wide receiver well, in the he's NFL. The, he's a two. Yeah. I mean, they don't have anybody right. else. I mean, who else are you going to... And Pringle got hurt. Pringle they got need hurt. Velas to come back. Yeah. Pringle, got hurt, Pringle got. got hurt literally in the second play of the game, and that was it. Um, that was going to get into next. Dante Pettis yeah. out there running around for his exercise. Montgomery 18, got hurt. 18 routes and uh, zero targets. Mostly all, return All gym guy. class team just yeah. out there for phys ed. Yeah. What are these boys doing? They're giving my man Justin Fields nothing to work with. Well, that's that could be part of the conversation. But, but Montgomery gets hurt. Oh, yeah, bummer. bummer. Yeah, no targets, three carries, 11 yards, 11 snaps for Monty. Because those Texans did not want to tackle anyone. No, and Monty looked spry out there, too. Oh, there's CD. Nope, down at the one. No. Um, Monty looked spry out there before the injury. Monty's looked really good He's the nice last Nice jump cuts. I mean, weeks. he looked good, and then... I didn't. It didn't even look like anything. It really. didn't look like anything either because I went try to go back and watch. It. I'm like, I don't really. Know. So he got rolled up on. So that hopefully that should be encouraging for. It's a day to day, right? Yeah, hopefully encouraging for Monty, but not encouraging oh. for Monty was a Cleel Herbert. Yeah, with uh, two targets for 11.8 percent target share, two catches, 20 yards, but uh, uh, two catches, but he had 20 carries for 157 yards and two tutties. Look, so, looked really good. The run game, man. That that just. This is probably the identity of the Bears. The, it has to be. The, the, they, they, I'm never going to get too... Wow, that was a sick catch. Uh, I'm never going to get super upset uh, with a team that sticks with the run game that's working. Yeah. I know nobody likes it, but if you can be have a close game and, yeah. and, and pound the rock and it's working, fine. Um, and it was, and they got two backs who were good. Monty looked great last week. Look good in the beginning of this one. Herbert looked good. Has looked good whenever he gets a chance. They got two good backs. Yeah. I'm going to say something Herbert. In point per carry league, I would trade as much as a 23 second for him. That's, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, sure. I, I, I'm a, I agree with you. They, Monty I contract. Mean, Monty, yep, exactly. They got Herbert. Now, they they don't have ties to either one of those guys. They could draft, bring another guy in next year. But they had ties to Ebner, but that's about right, it. But I mean, right. how can you not have some sort of some sort of feeling for Herbert? And I would assume the that you're going to run. Right, the OC right. was about pounding, was talking about Herbert all all off season. So yeah, they I, said he runs the system better than Monty. So I think I think this is uh, I think that's a that's a pretty solid. Uh, I trade mean, target I there. think that Herbert, probably not right now. Herbert, no, Herbert could have flex value the rest of the season. Wait till Herbert goes. Wait till Mon- Monty gets back in the fold, yeah. and then maybe you try to trade the two for Herbert. You know what I would consider if I was if I was an NFL GM, if I was a uh, Brandon Bean, maybe call the Chicago Bears, see what I can uh, see what I can trade for the rest of David McCom- David Montgomery for the rest of the year. Yeah, somebody who might want to sign him up for for the year for for a contract. I mean, afterwards. See what you can get for rental for David Montgomery. I mean, it's not the worst idea in the world. Might as well strip another weapon away from Justin Fields. What, I mean, at this point, I mean, Herbert hasn't been Herbert hasn't been bad. Ebner Ebner would look pretty good out there as well too. Um, I mean, your team's not good, so what's the point of holding on to a guy that you're not going to have after the end of the year? There is no chance that the Bears wanted to be two and one right now. The f- yeah, they're like, God office. damn it. Yeah, yeah, and even um, yeah, yeah, and it's just it's it's not good out there. Yeah, so you know, is it is it Fields not having the best opportunity in the surroundings around him? Is it the office doesn't really like him and doesn't want doesn't believe in him and was like, 
we're going to try to move off of fields and do something else this next year. What do you, what do you, it's what's your all read of the on abo- any of that? It's all of the above. You think it's, so? There's, it's the, oh, Jesus, that is a giant palmetto bug. There's no way that you um, couldn't have came up with a better surrounding receiver core for him than oh, what you did, Oh, for sure, right? yeah. You got Valus Jones in the third, or, yeah, it's third. Missed. Yep, third. I don't know how. That thing was the size of a fist. Um, But, yeah, I mean, the offense doesn't trust Fields. Fields hasn't played well, and he's got nothing around him. Yeah. I mean, that's not a recipe for success. Right. So it's hard to just fe- to necessarily judge Fields except but for the times. when he takes off. When yeah. he takes off, it's awesome, except for when the times that he does throw it, try to throw it around a little bit, it, it's not great. Half no. the time, of- it is absolutely awful on that the first pick on that first pick he cl- he just missed he just missed him like i think it was i think it might have been commit he just threw it and like it was three a, yards ahead of right. him it like was it wobbly too it was not a good looking it was ball. just bad and the thing and is, the justin, second one justin fields looked so good at ohio state so good at ohio state well it, it, you know that's kind of what happens it's when a you manufactured ohio state. system right the system yeah, maybe, the, maybe, the, then the maybe the conference fucking, then maybe the fucking bears should just go hire ryan day then <laughs> and play in the big 10 yeah <laughs> you know like, so there's no defense over there so trade trade fields for Pickett in a two i mean at this point it I seems guess. like a no for me i gotta hang on one more i hang gotta on. i gotta seal i just i love the athleticism of fields it's so hard to let it go and we just I'm don't not know. a big picket guy, i know which I mean, really surprises me I might entertain that. I wouldn't do it for the third, but for the second, I think I'd consider it. Why does it surprise you that he's not a picket guy? That he would do the trade. Oh, that he would do right. Got it. I mean, you're just not. You're not getting anything from Fields. You're getting nothing from him. Well, you knew that it wasn't going to be. But good it's been terrible. It's been terrible. You could at least, I guess, at the end of the day, he's been objectively the worst quarterback in the NFL this year. If you did that trade. You could pro- if Kenny comes out and shows anything, you could probably get a first and a second. You could probably get back what you spent on Kenny as a first. Yeah. And get the second and have a one and a two for Fields. Um, yeah, I'd be trying to flip Pickett after a good game. That maybe got, maybe probably if Pickett looks good. They got mad weapons over there. I'm That's true. Holden, That's true. Yeah. Fucking tight. And he's got some athleticism to his game, too. Yeah. He's an rated rusher. He could have, he could have, a, he could have that, that kind of Aaron Rodgers hidden yardage. Yeah, like a Wentz kind of thing. In a game, thing. yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Um, Komet showing a little bit. Three targets, 17.6 yeah. target share. Two yeah. Catches, He's no. out there. He's, He's out, out there. there. <laughs> Not winning that bet. And uh, got to bench Komet. Yeah. I mean, Keep he, him he, on the bench. I mean, definitely benching him. But I mean. 40 yards are like almost 10% of the way there with 15 more games or something. Golly. 14. 14. Should be such an easy. That should have been so easy. 500 yards is the bet. He's not yeah. throwing the ball. Right. Wow. They're just, and they're awful at that throwing the ball right now. I mean, so 